Honorable Priscilla, from the Center of uh, Multi-Party Democracy, first of all, how different is that space for, us, for someone who's uh, served as uh, an MP, uh, then as a commissioner, and now back with the political parties at, uh, at, the, at that helm, how different is it, you know, what are you having to deal with at the moment? I think the same conversation that the URPP has started, the ideology of parties, and, and what has happened with CMD, which was where you could take their letter. So now we've come a long way from that. Parties now have established offices, have established programs, have established accounts, have established governance institutions, the NECs, you know, the management committees, the governing councils. And, and I'm, I was just doing a list of some of our oldest parties. I mean, Kanu is an old party, Independence Party, Ford Kenya, WIPA, UDM, now Kenya, uh, you Jubilee, and now the youngest party being the UDA, and another young parties like like the one that our friend here comes from. So. In terms of history of parties, we seem to be growing. Until the 2010, we didn't even have political parties in the Constitution. In fact, the earlier studies of law were that political parties were private clubs. And, and you only like, like Parklands Club or like Mudaiga Golf Club, private clubs. So we've come a long way from the private club approach right. to now institutions of governance, vehicles of power, the president coming from a party, the ruling coalition coming from a party. So it is a journey of democracy. And the difference I now see is where we are going on ideology. Because the conversation, like even the dialogue we now have, right. the reason it can't happen is because the political parties are not strong. And if you look at the deficit in budget, for example, and I, I like that the URPP spoke about Green Party uh, environment. And, and in the West, Green Parties are a big thing. In Netherlands, in, in, in Denmark, where CMD uh, actually came from when it came to Kenya. Look at the balanced budget. A party can vie on being a balanced budget. One of the biggest problems with our budget has just been deficit. Mm -hmm. We have refused to cut our coat according to our cloth. We cut a huge coat and we don't have the cloth. Year after year. And you come into a huge deficit, like this particular 3.6 trillion. I can't even tell you the level of deficit is going to cause in this country. The measures are there to correct the deficit. So a political party, like my own party of Jubilee, or whichever party, can vie on a balanced budget. That we, as a political party, are going to give Kenya a balanced budget. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give Kenya a budget that the income and the expenditure are as close to each other as possible. We, that's where we are going. And I am hoping that the journey will be a bit fast-tracked. Sure. We tried a little bit in this election with the bottoms-up approach and the 10-point agenda for Azimio, uh, and we are still on that journey. I think that uh, maybe in the 2027 election, mm -hmm. we should see a much better change, depending, for example, on how the ruling coalition implements what they are calling better, the bottom-up you know, transformative agenda. Right. If they manage to implement that, it is possible now to start convincing people on ideology. And that brings me to the last point of party discipline. That is also what causes party discipline. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be jubilee at night, and then ODM in the afternoon, and then WIPA in the evening. I mean, people can't even understand you. Right. Like what happened in this election. If your people elect you on a jubilee ticket, they actually expect you to continue with that journey. You can't wake up the morning after the election and cross over. Right. It's something very, and even if you, look, if you look at our history, for example, there is an election we call the Literary General Election. When the members of KPU, uh, crossed over from Kanu. They actually went for an election. Uh, the former prime minister, when he crossed over, he went for an election. That, that's how it should be. But we are on a journey. Uh, it's a journey of a thousand miles. I think we've only probably taken two. <laughs> <laughs> Just steps. Okay, 